Hi friends, today I would like to discuss a few things about MSICS Pro which is giving cosmetically good results. This is a technique where the, where the cornea is ensured to be clear, conjunctiva is quiet and there is minimal AC reaction post surgery. The eyeball is stabilized with a forceps holding, tenons fascia delicately with your non-dominant hand causing, without causing any undue stretching. Conjunctiva blade is uh, conjunctiva bleed is avoided by doing a congenital peritomy with a crescent blade. Here I have in inserted uh, copious amount of viscoelastics and then with the help of a cystidone from the side pod, a, a CCC or a continuous curvilinear capsular axis is made. The uh, capsular axis is aided by a good retroillumination, which can be got by just pushing the eye eyeball towards the nasal side. The congenital teratomy which is done with the crescent blade and major vessels are avoided and uh, this helps in ke keeping the sclera little clear. And then a straight incision is made either in the superior temporal or a superior nasal quadrant and then a sclerocorneal tunnel is made. This sclerocorneal tunnel ensures that the nucleus quietly comes out through the easy chamber. So now the AC is entered with the keratome. Keratome is entered while going inside and once this is done, we, we next step would be do, do, do uh, be doing is a cortical cleaving hydrodissection. Cortical cleaving hydrodissection ensures that the nucleus is freed from the capsular bag and it is prolapsed into the anterior chamber. Once this is done, we can remove the nucleus by, by, by the sandwich technique wherein uh, vectors and dialer comes to a rescue. The entire procedure is done by inst instilling two drops of paracaine, pro paracaine at the start of the surgery. Here the epinucleus is uh, washed out um, by just pressing the posterior lip. Care is taken to, uh, to ensure that, that the anterior chamber is maintained deep throughout. So if and the cortical wash is then finally done by using the side port uh, incision, the opposite ends of the capsular bag, the anterior lip of the cortex is clear, uh, aspirated out, and finally the subincisional cortex. This is uh, this uh, require this requires little expertise and need to be very careful not to touch the posterior capsule. Once the uh, cortic cortex has been aspirated out, the things become uh, quite easy after that. So. Uh, Next, next step would be to place the intraocular lens. So the intraocular lens is, uh, IOL has to be placed inside the bag. Now that we have we have a good view of the capsular margin, we can insert the lens under hydro implantation by keeping the simco inside at the edge of the sclerocorneal tunnel and then push the lens. The first the leading aperture goes inside the bag and then later the trailing aperture is dialed inside. The entire uh, now the eye hole is inside the bag and then the side ports are hydrated and this is the end of the surgery and the conjunctiva is closed by just approximating with the forceps. So this is a cosmetically appealing surgery because the patient doesn't have any redness or congestion at the end of the surgery and he can start using topical medications immediately up on the post-operative day. And, no, and the eyes do, do not need to be patched. This is another case of uh, soft cataract wherein the side port incision is made. There is a good uh, glow. So that is why I am not staining the capsule. Viscoelastic is injected and then uh, with uh, just pushing the eyeball, I get a good uh, retroillumination. Retroillumination with based on that, I just do a uh, CCC. CCC is done by just lifting the anterior capsule, giving a nick and then going circularly. So all these steps are done uh, topically and the patient is not experiencing any pain. The capsular edge is round, central and it is uh, equidistant from the margins. And now the conjunctiva. Conjunctiva is just uh, peritomy is done by using a crescent blade instead of a scissors. This ensures that the dissection is minimal and the uh, bleeding is less. So the incision is made with the crescent blade itself and then the sclerocorneal tunnel is made by uh, bringing movements, uh, bevel up and bevel down. We, uh, the sclerocorneal tunnel ensures that the uh, wound is self-sealing in nature. So this uh, technique involves uh, delicate holding of the globe where the wound is not supposed to be I mean, no, not
not supposed to be uh, tampered with and care is taken that so that the wound is not to be uh, touched with the forceps ac is entered with the keratome and uh, it is extended at both sides and uh, now you can see the excess margin which is round and central now just in inserting uh, saline by the, in the form of hydro dissection which is the cortical cleaving you can see the nice golden ring and then it is uh, uh, hydro is done at both the sides and the one pole is lifted into the entry chamber once once uh, once the pole is prolapsed into the entry chamber the rest of the things the pavectis can go inside the posterior lip and then the nucleus is delivered out of the Sinsky. So next is the your epinucleus and cortex, which can just be uh, uh, aspirated or just press the posterior lip, and the cortex just comes out. So this is uh, one easy technique where you can uh, give a cosmetically good uh, looking eye and uh, a traumatic and it is and it is uh, painless. So finally the cortex is been being removed, but for my for starting with the side port incision the cortex is removed uh, from the edges of the capsular to that edges of the capsular uh, opening and then finally the subincisional cortex so this technique ensures uh, that uh, the patient uh, doesn't have any pain because we are not touching the iris and we're not letting the anterior chamber collapse at any point of time so that in that way uh, the side port incision side port uh, incision comes to uh, comes uh, is of a great help and finally, when you are in inject implanting a lens, you can either do it with a viscoelastic or you can just use a Simco cannula at the edge of the tunnel and then push the lens inside the bag. First the leading aptic goes inside and then the trailing aptic. So uh, that's that is the uh, that is about uh, MSICS Pro, which is which near uh, which is, which gives results on par with FACO and the post op recovery is good, and the patient uh, doesn't uh, find a difference between two of the techniques. So I would like uh, everyone to start uh, doing MSICS in a topical way and give good results to the patient. Thank you, thank you for your attention.